Mamr al Gaddafi, The Green Book, Part 1. The solution of the problem of democracy, the authority of the people. Popular Congresses and People's Committees. Popular Congresses are the only means to achieve popular democracy. Any system of government other than Popular Congresses is undemocratic. All the prevailing systems of government in the world today are undemocratic unless they adopt this method. Popular Congresses are the end of the journey of the masses movement in its quest for democracy. Mohamed El Gaddafi, le livre en vert, deuxième partie, la solution du problème économique, la terre. La terre n'est pas la propriété de personne. Chacun a le droit de l'exploiter par son travail d'agriculteur ou d'éleveur dans les limites de ses possibilités et de ses besoins durant toute sa vie, ainsi que celle de ses héritiers. Il ne peut cependant utiliser lui-même une autre personne salariée au nom pour travailler cette terre. La terre est immuable. Tandis que ce qu'il exploite passe avec le temps. Elles peuvent changer de métier ou de capacité. C'est pourquoi la terre sur laquelle se succèdent les générations ne peut faire l'objet d'une appropriation. There's no doubt who's in charge in Libya. For the past 29 years, the elusive, mysterious figure of Colonel Gaddafi, the leader of the revolution, has dominated the country. There have been at least half a dozen well-documented attempts to kill him. Libya believes the British and Americans have been behind them, and a former MI5 officer, David Shaler, reinforced that belief last year by claiming that the British Secret Intelligence Service planned Gaddafi's assassination. The British government denies it strongly, and tomorrow Mr. Shaler will face extradition proceedings in a court in Paris, where he's held in prison. The British government wants to try him under the Official Secrets Act. At his camp outside Tripoli, I met Colonel Gaddafi to interview him about his problems with the West. It's difficult to get him to speak, and nowadays he's suffering the after-effects of an accident to his leg. Gossip in Libya says it was another assassination attempt. Colonel Gaddafi insists it's a sporting injury. Do you believe, as the um, former British intelligence agent David Shaler said, that Britain has uh, intended to assassinate you? <laughs> of course it is true. And uh, it, it happened with me. Yes, yes, it has uh, happened with me. Yes, yes, it has uh, happened, of course, and uh, Britain uh, was behind this, uh, this uh, thing of uh, assassination. How do you know that? What evidence do you have, apart from what David Shaler says? Do you have other evidence? There are many evidence. Yes, there, there are. There are. And uh, when the time comes, we will bring this uh, evidence. Colonel Gaddafi, once a supporter of the IRA, among others, now claims that Britain and America have behaved like terrorists themselves. What is the difference between uh, Carlos, Bin Laden, uh, Bin Vaz, Bin Abbas, America, England? There is no difference. All they are act like each other. But Colonel Gaddafi's big aim now is to bring an end to the UN sanctions against Libya. They certainly haven't brought the country to its knees, but they are preventing it from prospering. The sanctions were imposed because Libya refused to let the two suspects in the Lockerbie bombing be tried in a Scottish or an American court. Now London and Washington have compromised, and the two men will be tried in The Hague. During our interview, Colonel Gaddafi went out of his way to make it clear he no longer he went out of his way to make it clear he no longer stood by the two Libyan suspects. 
in the hope that sanctions would now be lifted. He spoke in Arabic, so he could choose his words better. And he even suggested a possible motive for the blowing up of the Pan Am flight over Lockerbie, revenge for the American bombing of Libya in 1986. Perhaps, he says, these two Libyans took their own revenge against America because America had bombed their homes and killed their children. We can solve this problem very easily. Then the families of the Lockerbie victims will be satisfied. All that's needed are some more guarantees. This uh, atmosphere of intention of uh, confrontation. I'm really sorry about uh, about this. Sorry about the confrontation. Yes, of course. It had been, as ever with Colonel Gaddafi, an eccentric performance, to say the least. But he does genuinely seem to be looking for ways to break out of his isolation now. John Simpson, BBC News, Libya.